Let me ask you a view on the yes, president's take on, yesterday yes, when, yes. when he said that um, reshuffle is, is something that he, if he wants to do, he will do. But for now, mm -hmm. his appointees have worked outstandingly. They, the word yeah. you use there, they have been outstanding. Yeah. And those people like NDC mentions NDC, you are making the demands for a reshuffle because you want to destabilize this party. <laughs> and for the others who, want, who are asking maybe between this party, they want jobs. <laughs> I said, okay, do you want to destabilize this government as you push for this reshuffle? There is no government to be destabilized. The government itself is not functioning. So who is going to destabilize it and take credit for destabilization? <laughs> Let me tell you, this uh, demand for reshuffle, it is coming principally from within the new patriotic party. They said that this government is a poor representation of what New Patriotic Party stands for. So government should, president should reshuffle and put the right people there to implement uh, the type of governance that MPP believes. But then this is a basic demand. So we have made, the, yeah, we have supported that call. You because didn't support, you had your own why, position on the matter. The reason why we made those demands was where government now came in to accept that the economic policies have not yielded the desired results. You're referring to and their decisions to go to the IMF. And that therefore, they are to go to IMF. And we were called to come on board with our suggestions. And they called said, you? Oh, there was a public, we were not invited per se with a letter, but there was a public call that now we are in difficulty. It is about the whole country. Everybody should come on board. So we said that, well, the same drivers who took the vehicle <laughs> into a ditch cannot be relied upon to drive the vehicle again once we want to rescue it. So the managers of the economy must be changed, if not for anything at all. The trust, they have lost the trust of the people. And governance is about trust between the government and the government. So if somebody had been seen to be uh, uh, very, very economical with the truth. I don't want to be saying lies. A person has been lying persistently and misleading you, and you run into a problem. And now that same person says that from today going, I'll be speaking the truth. Nobody will believe them. So it is better to change that team, put a fresh team there with fresh faces, and when they are communicating with the, with the people, Ghanaians, and urging them to endure the hardship so we get out of this place, people will believe them. Otherwise, leaving the same people there. Why? When St. Paul converted from a murderer into a Christian, because he was persecuting Christians, mm -hmm. he could not preach in his own town. He has to leave and go and preach somewhere. So the, the, moral the, same, of the, is... the moral of the lesson is that when you have the same finance minister, the same chairman of economic management team, the same this, the same that, who have messed up and brought us this law. They are there and you say that people should come and support so that they will remain there and take us out of the mess. Nobody will trust you.